Hey everybody, it's Paul Yulkabaitis from Carrier Estate Planning back with another video as part of our 366 video challenge uh, in 2020. And today I wanted to talk about snow days. So we're in North Carolina. There's some snow in the forecast, should hit uh, later this afternoon or early evening. And it's it's really just disrupted a lot of stuff, right? We had a workshop scheduled for 5.30 tonight at the Carrier Senior Center that we have to reschedule. Um, I've got a bunch of consultations tomorrow, Friday, um, that we'll likely have to reschedule. And it just really shows, you know, how life just doesn't work the way it's supposed to all the time. And so snow days are somewhat like life generally and, and, you know, why we plan ahead because you never really know when, you know, a wrench is going to be thrown into the spoke of the wheel and just sort of screw up your plans. And so when we're doing planning, you know, or when you're considering planning of any type, whether it's uh, estate planning, financial planning, um, utilizing life insurance or tax planning or anything that's proactive, you have these expectations of a good life happening the way that you want it to, but hoping uh, or, or planning for rather the worst case scenarios as well, right? And that's important because if you don't plan ahead, when the worst case scenarios do happen, there's no plan B at least the plan B that you would have wanted is definitely not gonna happen. So just like snow days, we pivot, right? So we're gonna call all the all the potential clients that we're meeting with tomorrow and reschedule them for another day. We're going to reschedule the, the workshop tonight and we're just gonna move on. So we've got adequate provisions in place for backup plans, right? This isn't gonna ruin our week. But do you have planning in place for the inevitable, you know, snowstorm that may happen in life. Estate planning, financial planning, tax planning. Get your affairs in order so that when a snow day happens for you or for your family, it's not the end of the world. It's Paul from Carrier Estate Planning.